Hello and welcome to another VidBits video. My name is Matthew Carter and today I'm going to walk you through integrating cloud detection service with DLP Enforce using the DLP Cloud Service Connector. Before we get started though, there are just a few prerequisites that we need to make sure are complete. Number one, that you've already procured the DLP Cloud Service Connector. Number two, that you've received your email bundle within the last seven days because it does expire after that. And number three, that you've deployed your DLP Enforce server version 14.6 or above. So as we get started with the integration, you'll want to have downloaded the bundle file attached to the email that you would have received once the cloud connector was provisioned. I've gone ahead and done that here, as you can see, and I have it saved on my desktop. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our browser and we're gonna log into the DLP Enforce server where we are going to upload the bundle file. So go ahead and go to system and select servers and detectors overview. And then in the upper left corner, click on add server and select cloud detector. Now from the add cloud detector window, click browse, locate your bundle, and then click on open to finish the import. Once the import completes, you're gonna notice a detector description window, and in that description window is a detector ID. This piece of information is important to keep handy as you may need it when you create support cases or need to reach out to tier two support. Uh, the information is needed to locate the account within the CDS so that they can trace your account and the connections that are going through it. So very important to keep that piece of information handy. We'll go ahead and finish creating our detector name here. And then we're gonna go up to the upper left corner here and click on enroll detector. And that will complete the enrollment process. But notice now we see a status of disconnected. We usually give it about 30 seconds and then we'll refresh the page so that we can see the updated information and we can see that the communication is happening between the Enforce server and the CDS. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll go ahead and move our mouse over to the upper right corner. We'll click on that refresh button. Excellent, we're connected. So this is the information we wanted to see. You can see the messages flowing there. And uh, that's all there is to it, guys. You're connected. Thanks for watching this VidBits video today. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to check out our other DLP Cloud Connector videos. I've been your narrator, Matthew Carter. Thanks for watching.